Another day and yet another firmware update from DJI. This time it's for the Mavic Air 2 so that you can use this with the DJI Mini 2. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On, and if you love to hear these firmware updates, then hit that subscribe button below, because then you'll get to hear and see this content before anybody else. DJI are really, really pushing the boundaries with their firmware updates for products right now, with firmware updates arriving by the day. The latest firmware to arrive is for the lovely little Mavic Air 2, and this time in version 01000460. Why can't they simplify this versioning a little bit? Anyway, let's have a quick look at exactly what this firmware update does. So as you can see here, the first point here, as we mentioned earlier, is that it adds support so that remote controller can be used with the DJI Mini 2. Now, some people like to call this a controller as well, but effectively it's a little bit of both. Now, you've probably already noticed that the controllers for the Mini 2 and the Mavic Air 2 are literally almost identical. And this update means that now instead of carrying around two controllers, if you own the Mavic Air 2 and the Mavic Mini 2, then you can use one controller to fly both. The great benefit here is you effectively will end up with the same functionality as you have with the smart controller, whereby you simply dock your phone into this one controller and then as soon as you turn on the drone, the app should prompt you which drone you actually want to connect to. We'll test this out in an up and coming video. The next one is a simple one. They've changed the default return to home to 100 meters. This is probably to stop people crashing into things. Return to home altitude is really important and you should always set it before you take flight because if you lose connection, that altitude is the first thing the drone will fly to before it then tries to fly home to you. If you haven't set your altitude higher than the nearest building or tree, then it will crash into that building or tree because it has no obstacle avoidance. The next one is an optimization of the visual positioning system, and this is really nice. They've actually increased the altitude to 30 meters for stabilization of hover. In the event that you lose GPS during flight, it relies only on the VPS system. And if that fails, then the drone will drift off and fly away. Unless of course you take manual control, but this change means that VPS is now going to work at a higher altitude. And that means if you're at 30 meters or less and you lose GPS, the drone will still maintain its hover. This is a really nice safety addition. The next one is an optimization of the motors when you turn on the drone. Now this update is not very clearly described, but my interpretation of this is not when you turn the drone on, but when you actually start the prop spinning before you take off. I suspect that they've actually reduced the idle speed of the props so that before you take off it's not consuming as much power and it's also going to be a little less dangerous when it's sat there on the ground waiting to take off. The final one is an optimization of the detection when the props are not unfolded and you may remember I put out a video about this just a few weeks ago. Maybe DJI listened. When you first start to spin up the props if they are folded it will now stop and the app will warn you to unfold the props and this avoids further damage to your drone and also delicate components of the drone such as the gimbal which can suffer from that kind of extensive vibration. Again this is another really nice safety addition and it's really good to see that DJI are making these aircraft more safe for consumers. This firmware update will cascade to your controller and it's all updated over the air. So if you've got a smart controller, just launch it and connect it to the Mavic Air 2 and it'll update automatically for you. But if you're using the regular controller, then dock your phone into this, start up the DJI Fly app and connect it to your Mavic Air 2. And then within a few minutes, you'll be asked to update the firmware. This one just works entirely over the air, so there's no need to connect it to DJI Assistant and it should take about five minutes, but just make sure you have a fully charged battery. So that's it for another firmware update. Get yours connected now. Hopefully it's accessible to everybody globally, but remember, sometimes you won't get the firmware update notification because DJI occasionally stagger the launch of that globally to different countries. Comment on this video if you've tested out any of these features and what do you think. Also comment on what you'd like to see in a future firmware update. And please don't say 6K video. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you need a firmware upgrade. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching.